Scott. Uh, since you can't be here, I decided I would do a, a quick video on uh, the process of doing the microinfusion injections using uh, Arborjet's triage and uh, tree IV system. Now, basically, it's going to start with I'm going to drill some uh, injection sites where I'm going to put these little plugs. Nice thing about these little plugs is once they're inside the tree, I'll be able to in put my injector needle from my IV inside of there. And then when I pull it out, it self seals. So that way no product can leave the, the, uh, the injection site and we don't have to worry about anything invading the hole that I, I drill. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and drill the, the first one in here. What I'm looking to do is uh, drill just deep enough To allow the plug to be inserted but to be inserted into the area where I'm going to get the uh, vascular system what I'm trying to do is uh, tap into the xylem layer so that we can get good uptake into the rest of the tree okay so this is in there well enough now that when uh, after in about a, within a year's time that the tree should seal over that wound but now it's ready for me to put uh, my injection needle in. This is pressurized, this unit, this IV unit, uh, but I currently have the pressure shut off. So I can go ahead and open this up and then when I get all of these in I will open up the main valve to allow the product to go inside the tree. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other three and then we'll jump back in to the instruction. Okay, so that's the, uh, this is the fourth one I'm putting in here. All right. All right, so the next thing I got to do is open up the pressure on this bottle. And what we're going to be looking for is, uh, movement of the product. You can already see how the bubbles are flowing here. It seems like we got some pretty good flow. One little trick we do to check to see how fast the uh, product is moving in the tree is we'll dip the bottle slightly to get an air bubble to form and then the air bubble will we'll track the air bubble as it as it moves. There we go. This lets us know that the tree is uptaking. Okay, so while that's working, I'm going to go check on the other tree and see how it's doing. Okay, resume filming here. Um, while I was sitting here waiting, um, the bottle was actually already starting to, to empty, so I, I wanted to at least catch the final moment so I had to turn off the pressure so that it wouldn't uh, keep keep going through but now that I got the pressure going again you can see the product line here going into this banjo fitting which of course splits between all four of these uh, injection sites looks like two sites in particular are this one here all of them are are showing progression but there's one side that's doing especially well and that's uh, this one right here that may be due to the fact that that one's on the side of the sun. There may be a lot of transpiration going on with those leaves and so thus making a little bit more of a uptake pull on that side. So if you think of trees as uh living organisms with a vascular system this uh, product is going directly into that into where the uh, nutrients and, and water uptake into the tree 
it rides along that same same uh, vascular system and that's uh, where emerald ash borer larvae actually feed so this is basically poisoning the emerald ash borer's feeding source and that's how we are able to kill them we kill them right as they do what they do naturally so you see that's just about emptied working its way into this injector system here all the way into the tree so the line right here is just about finished up So we can close off that valve. Same thing's happening with this one here. It's almost finished. See this one over here is already finished. So we're gonna close that one off. Again, we don't want to get too much air into the uh, into the vascular system. So get that stopped before it gets too long. And then we'll just wait on this a little bit on this one here. Not quite as bad as watching paint dry. And it depends on the tree sometimes because, you know, sometimes you'll get a tree that will uh, uptake a whole lot slower than this. And then you'll have one where I'm racing to grab my uh, camera to record because of the fact that the line is just really emptying really quickly. Okay, so this is the tree that was on the, uh, I think, south side of your house. It has now been uh, injected, and it's good for up to two years. So, that concludes my demonstration. I want to thank my daughter, Jera, for helping with the initial, um, initial uh, uh, video. And I'm going to hand her back the thing. So, I'll talk to you later. If you have any questions or anything on, uh, on your health of your tree, let me know. Oh, one thing I want to show you. On this south tree I see that you've already cut or at some point in time a girdling root here was cut on this tree and so you know this is just a dead dead root now but I did notice there's a even thicker girdling root right here and if you notice this bulge that's occurring what's happening is is this root has matured and it's actually cutting off strangling this root flare so if you can get a chisel and just cut that off to relieve that pressure, that way you can hopefully avoid this root from killing this main root here, okay? All right, that's all I got. I will talk to you later. If you got any questions or anything, send me an email or give me a call. Thanks.